All right, I just want to point something out quick. Uh, I do have a speech impediment. I have a lisp. There's no joke there. It just always annoyed me, and now I want you to be distracted on that aspect of this and not realize I actually just suck at this. I honestly, I hate the sound of my own voice. It's the hardest part of doing this is listening to it over again and not turning it off or throwing my phone. My mom's actually the one who pointed it out to me. I was about 10 years old. She came up to me one day. She's like, hey, say 66. 66. Do you know you have a lisp? No. What is that? Well, it's a speech impediment, and you're going to have trouble saying your S's and THs the rest of your life. Okay. And? Now, I don't know why she did this to me. Uh, did she send me to speech therapy to get it corrected? I think we all can hear the answer. <laughs> Uh, my theory is uh, I was her first son. Uh, she had two older, she were my sisters, or older, got two of them, and uh, the fear of raising a self-confident, outgoing boy, I think, was too much for her to handle. And the thought of raising a self-conscious boy with low self-esteem who gets bullied all the time was a lot better. <laughs> and it worked. Um, I had no friends, I was really shy. The bullying went from, you know, preschool to... Well, that never ended. That's still going on. <laughs> oh, shit. Somehow I'm married. I don't know what the fuck she was thinking. I don't know what woman hears this voice and goes, Him. Him forever. Yes. Not only that, she let me uh, put two kids in her. So, I got that going for me. Again, I, I don't know what she was thinking. Uh, we actually uh, we got our first house about a year and a half ago. And we're still excited new homeowners to where doing the restorations and all the extra work that goes into buying the house is exciting, you know. New light fixtures, painting, drywalling, that's all still fun for us. And we're cheap though, so we try and do it ourselves. And like most men, I learned all my construction talent from my dad, who uh, I would hold the flashlight, get the beer, and inevitably get yelled at when I grabbed the wrong tool. The problem is, is he wasn't taught real well how to do stuff himself, so he didn't really know how to teach me. So when I had to get some wiring redone in my house, I did what I was trained, and I called my cousin, whose dad actually taught him how to do shit, and I held the flashlight, got the beer, and grabbed the wrong tools. But I gotta say, it's not the same. The level of disappointment in his voice just couldn't couldn't bring back the great memories of my dad. <laughs> All right, folks, thank you for that. That's my time.